sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today in this video we do have another latest editions video. I did get a ton of stuff in the mail, so I have a lot of reviews I need to get to. Been very busy between work, uh, this channel, and the new channel as well. So, uh, lots of, uh, new figures to review. So, before that, I do have a Blu-ray haul, and I'm recording on my GoPro. I'm seeing how it is. Uh, with latest editions videos. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it with figure reviews because it won't focus if I bring something closer to the camera. So I, I don't think the GoPro is gonna work good with reviews. So I'm gonna have to stick with uh, my original camera for reviews for now until I get a DSLR type camera. Uh, so I did get a bunch of Blu-rays. I did get uh, the Bourne Trilogy in the mail, which all these movies are awesome. My, my favorite is uh, Ultimatum, the third one. And uh, I don't know, i just been wanting to watch these, so I, I, I ended up getting the trilogy, so I did get that. I also did get like a Sylvester Stallone trilogy. I really wanted to watch Tango and Cash, which I already did watch. I, I already watched it before, I just haven't watched it in a while, and I wanted to watch it. It also comes with Over the Top and Demolition Man. I don't really remember Demolition Man too much. I need to rewatch that. Now I, re I remember watching uh, Over the Top uh, a while ago, where he's like a really big arm wrestler and or something like that. I did start watching it, but I didn't continue watching it. I ended up switching to Tango and Cash, which is a very corny '80s movie. So I did get that. I also did get one of my favorites here, American Gangster. This is a, a great, great movie, also based on uh, true events, which. Pretty crazy what uh, this guy did. If you never saw this, I do highly recommend checking it out. So I did get that. And then the last thing I got is the first season of Demon Slayer. Definitely uh, an incredible series. I know the movie just released in Japan. So very hyped for the movie. But this is such a, a beautifully animated series, great storytelling, awesome action. It's just a great anime. If you've never seen it, watch it. Just go on Crunchyroll right now and start watching it. You will not regret it. I haven't watched it dubbed yet. Well, I'm on like episode three watching it dubbed, so, and I, I do like their voices dubbed, so, but uh, they keep calling Nezuko Nezuko. I believe her name's Nezuko in Japanese. I could be wrong. Maybe they are saying it right, but usually... I know Funimation sometimes switches up their, uh, I believe Funimation dubs this. Yeah, they do. I, Funimation does switch up the way the names are pronounced sometimes, so they're calling Nesco, Nes Nesuko. But yeah, really glad to uh, have this here. So those are the Blu-rays I got. Now for the figurines. The first figure here I got is the Figma Kirishima. Whoops, I meant to bring it this way and I brought it that way. This is going to be my next review. I have most of it re recorded, so this should be popping up very soon. And it's a dope figure. They, they did a dope job with uh, Todoroki. They did a nice job with uh, Bakugo. And Midoriya isn't too bad either, but these figures are, are way better than Midoriya. And um, yeah, they're, they're, I'm curious to see who, uh, who we're going to be seeing next, because Yoraraka... I believe that's her name. She just released as well. There's a lot of my heroes, my hero academia stuff in this video. The next thing I got here, I did get the McFarlane Toys Arkham Origins Deathstroke. And this is a pretty badass figure, man. Biggest downside to McFarlane's figures is he, he's not including enough accessories. Yeah, the card and, and that stand is cool, I guess, but I'd rather get accessories for the figure, you know what I mean? But, uh, Definitely a really dope figure right here. So this is going to be another upcoming review. And some other things I got in the mail. I did get a package from Angel's Geeks. And I did get a, a, a mint in box. Dasen model. Garu. I keep bringing it that way. Damn it. Stop it. But I, I had to get a, a mint in box Garu. He's such a dope character, man. So I did get that. I also did get the SH Figuarts Battle Version Jiren. 
which looks like a pretty dope figure. There we go. So this will be an upcoming review as well. And then I did, I'm surprised I, I got this in the mail. I was shocked seeing it, but I did get the McFarlane Toys, My Hero Stain. And this thing looks pretty damn dope, man. So this is going to be another upcoming review as well. Stain is like my favorite character from My Hero Academia. Definitely my favorite villain. But it looks like McFarlane did a nice job with this figure. This is one of the better My Hero figures by McFarlane. So this is going to be another upcoming review. And then I have two more packages here. Where's me trusty knife held on? All right, so I did get a package from Ami Ami here. So let's see what we have inside. I believe there's two figures in here. Damn it. Open. You lost it. All right, so one of them, as I mentioned before, is the Figma Yuraraka. And like I said, man, Todoroki and Kirishima turned out pretty good, so we'll have to check out how she turned out. And they haven't announced any new figures yet in their uh, Figma My Hero line, so uh, I'm hoping they don't take a break and not make them after a while. And it's crazy how quickly all of these released actually Todoroki released first I think Hiroshima was supposed to then Kirishima released and then literally a week later Yuraraka released so that'll be another upcoming review what is that one two three four five reviews so far and then this one is going to be six because it is the <laughs> I told you it's going to be a big my hero action figure haul I did get the the Rebel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi on my top so now I can get rid of my McFarlane ones, uh, McFarlane one on the shelf, and this thing is pretty damn big actually. Nice job, uh, Rebel Tech. Look at him compared to, I guess, Yuraraka. See what I mean? He's huge. So that is definitely a big plus right there. But he looks pretty dope, man. And I know I'm a little behind with uh, this All Might. So definitely uh, awesome stuff here. Oh my God. What is that? One, two, three, four, my hero figures. I think that's it for them. For now. All right, so the last thing here I did get from Anime Export, and I've been waiting for this for a while. There's four figures in here. And uh, I chose fast shipping, but it took a few weeks to get to me. Usually it doesn't take that long when I order something from Anime Export. So let's see all the figures. That's we have in here. Alright, so one of them here is... Okay. Ah. We do have the SH Figuarts Michael Keaton Batman here. 1989 Batman, of course. So this is going to be another upcoming review. Jesus, I'm going to be swarmed with figure reviews. Good God. I'm gonna try to get this out so I, can show you, so I can show you the packaging quickly. I know a lot of people aren't really digging the face. I gotta get it out of the packaging to see how it looks. I mean, it's okay from what I could see here. Pretty cool packaging though, so that's another figure. And then there's four more figures in here. Geez, are all of these SH figure arts? Yeah, they are. And they're all in brown shippers. I did get another Jiren, which I don't know why I ordered two of these. He's not even one of my favorite characters, so I'm probably going to end up selling one. So I got another Jiren by accident. And then the last two figures that I thought here... Ugh. So many SH figure arts. Alright, so the first one is the... First Avengers version Captain America. And then we do have Loki as well. Let me try to open these quickly so I can give you guys a look at the figurines. Again, I'm doing a giveaway. It's going to be ending Friday. Friday will be your last chance to get into the giveaway. I'm giving away a uh, SH Figure Arts Kaioken Goku. There's Cap right there. Looks pretty cool. And let me know what you guys think of the GoPro for the latest editions video compared to my regular camera. If you want, watch my latest, my last 
latest editions video and you can compare the picture quality and, and let me know which you prefer better. So this is going to be another upcoming review. What was I just saying? Oh, uh, if you want to enter the giveaway for that Kaioken Goku, all you have to do is subscribe to, subscribe to me and my friends' new channel, which is... Uh, Dude, there's no way I will put the link in the description. And that's all you have to do. After you do that, go on, uh, you can go on this video or my other latest editions video and just say you subscribed uh, to the other channel. This Loki looks pretty dope, man. And then I will pick out the winners. I'm going to try to do it this weekend. If I can't, I'll do it the following weekend. Like I said, I'm, I'm swarmed, as you can see now, with figure reviews. There's the uh, Loki right there. Well, even if I move it closer, it's not going to focus, so I'll just leave it over here. But it looks pretty dope, man. Pretty darn cool. So that is my holy crap, that's a lot of figures. Latest editions video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you're not like. But thanks for watching. I will see you later with all these reviews.